So, I went out today on the way home from work, and I bought one of these kits at the local hobby store. Thunderjet pit kit. I called ahead, and I asked them if they had any slot car uh, suspension and or spring kits. Um, and they uh, said, yes, they did. So I said, oh, okay, let's try that. Uh, because I was looking for springs to put into here. So I'll get uh, a little picture going here. So you got this little void here, right in the middle, and on there. If I put the spring down there and have the pickup spanning across there, just like that guy there, already done. The spring should push the contacts. That was the problem with this one. The contacts would never be pushed down onto the actual copper. So yeah, it never uh, sporadically, because there was no springiness to it, no pushing down, this thing would just float above the copper track and uh, not touch. And so you would lose connectivity. So if I thought if I put a spring in the middle here and just push, push these uh, plates down, uh, it should work better. So I tried that. I took a spring and you can see um, puffed it right in there. And it's all springy now. See, it's springy. So um, it pushes down, maybe a little too hard. <laughs> but um, I had tested it. So let's just try to get this thing on here without it falling apart. Um, oh. Put the phone down for a sec while I get this thing onto the track because that spring. Okay, so now we're in the track. So now you can see I'm going to push this thing backwards. You can see that the spring is pushing the pad down. Of course, now this course is lifting the bogey right off the track. So you will need a weight brick. <laughs> so you put a weight brick on. Uh, normally when you build something, there'll be something on top of that. So they'll keep it down. So now the bogey's pushed down and let's see what happens when you hit run. It goes backwards. Um, let's go the other way because I want to go the other way. There we go. Uh, this is just, uh, and now there's no hiccups at all. So right now those those uh, copper pads are pushing the contact or the uh, springs pushing those copper pads right onto the, the copper rail here. So I, I think that's much better. The little spring idea that my buddy Rick came up with uh, is a really good idea. So uh, of course this kit came, this kit here came with four springs and I promptly lost two of them trying to get them in there. Um, the other thing I noticed is, of course, that this, this, this kit came with four pickup rails. This is the pickup rail for the slot cars. And I thought, uh, I'll show you, that, that this, this bend here, at this point, it's very, very reminiscent of the distance from here to here. So I decided to bend one. And you can see, after I bent it, that it's gonna work perfectly spanning that so I don't have to make my own rails. I can just reuse those. Now the idea is that I will either drill a hole on uh, this side and push it, push it through and then solder on the top or do something. Because the one thing as you notice that one that the um, the pickup pads are very, very, uh, since they're only attached on one side, the bottom, the other side could pop off and then I could lose the springs and stuff. So I have to figure out how to keep this thing secure uh, and floating on this piece here. So I will figure that out, that's my next step. Um, but I thought I'd give you a heads up that this thing is working much better than it was uh, with without the um, without using the braided wire that comes with the slot cars, because I don't like that. I like this better, I like, I like solid better, as long as it's being pushed onto the contacts pushed onto the copper rails. So I think that's gonna work much better. I just have to figure out how to secure this thing to here. Um, actually, let's try this. Well, I've got you guys on the, uh, on the line here. Maybe I can. Hard to do this with one hand. Um, Cause I can't see what I'm doing. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work at all. Yeah, I have to bend it because this thing is now uh, riding above the wheels. So the wheels will never touch. Um, so anyway, I'll go with the idea that I had first, uh, this little U-shaped thingy here, and uh, put it in there, 
and drill a hole through the top and have the wire coming out here and soldered there. Uh, might work a lot better and I'll let you know. Take care, bye.